What's up guys, it's your boy Jimmy P. Back again, October's in full swing here on Rod Peach Productions and we're doing a lot of crazy things. Um, never before have we done a list video and don't expect them too often, but being in the spirit of October, we're gonna give you a little extra here and I'm gonna give you my top five movies that they have not yet released on Blu-ray. Now these are just my personal picks, of course, of uh, movies that I need on Blu-ray that they have not given to me yet and uh, not in any particular order. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So number one is Laid to Rest, Anchor Bay 2009. Um, it's a, I've done a Jimmy P's talk movies about it already. So if you want like a more of a deep dive into this movie, you can go check out that video on my channel. Um, Jimmy P Talks Movies Episode 3. Anyways, um, technically this does have a German Blu-ray release and that was very limited. Um, copies for that go anywhere from like 100 to 120 dollars and you gotta have the region free Blu-ray player to even watch it. Um, not really sure what's up there. I'm glad Germany got some love, but uh, you know, us here in America where that movie was made, we would love to get some love too. Um, amazing practical effects. I mean, this is a movie that was made for frickin' Blu-ray. I don't understand why we haven't gotten a copy of this yet. We've gotten um, a bunch of the other Anchor Bay uh, horror franchises that they had on their hands, uh, Behind the Mask, Hatchet, but where is my laid to rest? This is insane. Um, it's directed by Robert Hall. Um, he also did the makeup effects. Uh, a movie you should check out. Um, watch my video if you want more info. It needs a Blu-ray release. Give it to me. Alright, so number two on my list is another set of movies that I've already talked about here in my channel, on my channel. And that's Video Violence 1 and 2. Now, I do have a DVD collection that has them both together with uh, some amazing special features from Camp Video. But, uh, it's not enough. Uh, Video Violence and Video Violence 2 are SOV masterpieces, like the top of the line for shot on video horror. And, uh, Camp has been sitting on these films for years and they've just put out this one DVD release and although it is quality, I would love an updated, restored Blu-ray release. I mean, this is do-it-yourself do it practical effects and filmmaking at its, like, at its best. I mean, these movies had budgets of literally maybe a thousand dollars and uh, the quality is just amazing. If you're into like sleaze, gore, uh, dark humor, the video violence movies are for you and uh, they need to give me a Blu-ray copy. Camp Motion Pictures, I know you're out there watching. Stop playing with my emotions. I mean, what do you want? hundred dollars? I got a hundred dollars. You can call me right now. We can get that worked out. hundred bones. Give me one limited edition, one of one. Uh, anyways, the world needs it. Video Violence 1 and 2, Blu-ray release, please. Number 3. Masters of Horror Season 2. What the heck, man? Um, we uh, started off strong. You know, I have uh, Masters of Horror Season 1 here on this little 4-disc Blu-ray collection right there and it, they're very bare bones which I was disappointed with because the DVDs are loaded with special features. Um, so then season two came back and you know they, they came out on the DVDs individually again with like less special features and uh, no Blu-ray release. Oh hold on, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Oh what's going on? Is it Deb? Say, say what? It's, Germany. Germany has a Blu-ray copy of Masters of Horror Season 2. Individual titles? All the special... F Is it there? Get out of here. So Germany has a copy of Masters of Horror Season 2 on Blu-ray. What the heck is going on here? Why does Germany get all the love with the fire horror? It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I know there's a market for this out here in America. Uh, I'm not sure what the circumstances were for to make them decide that America wasn't a market for them to put this on Blu-ray, but season two was just as good as season one, and it just blows my mind that we never got a Blu-ray copy, but Germany 
Germany gets all the fire loot. Everybody, let's pack up our bags and move to Germany. That's where the best forward is. Anyways, uh, Anchor Bay stars, if you're listening, give me my Blu-ray copies of Masters of Horror Season 2. I will be all over it. Alright, so number four is uh, Slashers, which was like a uh, Fangoria... Uh, like, when I first saw this, I saw this at Hollywood Video, and it was under the uh, Fangoria, like, Gore Zone, like, moniker. They had their own movies they were coming out with. They had, like, iZombie, um, The Last Horror Show, uh, this one, Slashers, uh, Children of the Night. There, there was a whole bunch of them that came out in, like, the early 2000s. Slashers was my favorite of all of them. Um, I can't really show you a trailer right now. Uh, I do have a trailer for this movie on one of my trailer visions, so you can check that out if you want to. Um, it's about a Japanese game show where uh, contestants like are put into groups and they have to fight for their lives running man style against crazed serial killers and they're being filmed the whole time. Uh, highly comical, uh, super cheese. I, I'm a big fan of the running man, so like I automatically gravitated toward this film. Uh, the killers are like... Their personalities are all really ridiculous. The main characters, blah, blah, blah. It's fun watching them get murked. Um, there's like a minor political message there, but... It's just a really fun slasher movie. It's called Slashers, so you would think so. The game show element is really cool. Um, excellent practical effects. No computer, CGI, anything there. Um, some fat techno music playing in the background. DJ Slash. What's up, DJ Slash? Um, yeah, Slashers, it's only been released on DVD. There's been a couple of, uh, prints of it. I don't have a copy with me right now, unfortunately. I do not own the film, although I wish that I did. Um, it's from the early 2000s. So you should definitely check it out. Uh, 2001, to be exact. Um, so, super gym. And number five is The Babysitter from 2017 Netflix movie. Oh my goodness, what a pleasant surprise this was. Shout out to my guy Sinister Cinema. You should check out his YouTube channel if you like movie reviews that are better than mine. Um, he's the one that really turned me on to this movie. And, you know, I just randomly clicked on the guy. It was also the first video I ever watched of his. And he was talking about how you shouldn't sleep on this and how smart it was and action-packed and the acting was good and it was funny. So uh, me and my youngest uh, sat and watched it one night and like jaws dropped open. This movie's freaking incredible. Um, just so smart, so funny. It goes by really fast. Um, I was fine watching it with my kids. It's not overly like sexual in nature or anything like that, I guess. But uh, there's a sequel coming out, I just found out, and I'm super pumped about that. Same director, same actress. She was also in uh, Ready or Not, which was freaking amazing. You should check that one out. Um, yeah, they've only released this on DVD for some reason. Uh, Netflix, why are you hating all this original content you got? Some of it, like very little of it actually comes out on Blu-ray. You can get a DVD release, but like, come on, man. This is 2019. Who's still buying DVDs? I mean, I know a lot of people are, but not me. Not Jimmy P. I'm a Blu-ray finder. Uh, so, please, Netflix, I know you're watching. Give me the babysitter on Blu-ray. I need it. Anyways, thanks guys for checking out this list video of the top five movies that I wish they would put on Blu-ray for me. I want to know what's up with Germany. I want to know your thoughts on what's going on with Germany. I want to know what you want on Blu-ray that you don't have yet. Um, let your voice be heard in the comments. If I see something interesting, you know I'm going to comment back. I love uh, hearing what you guys got. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. I'm Jimmy P. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. It helps the channel. Really appreciate you guys, and we'll see you later.